Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of AMA Air. I'm Chris Savage. And I'm Aaron Dobbs. Today, we'll take you to Flight Fest East. And we'll also tell you how an AMA scholarship winner discovered his love for aviation. But as always, let's get started with some news from around the hobby. The National Aeromodeling Championships encompass a summer of challenge, excitement, fun, and friendship. Modelers from all over the world land at the AMA's 1,100-acre flying field to compete alongside the best of the best in hopes of becoming the national champion. For more than 90 years, model aviation has been celebrated through these warm days. Flyers of all ages take turns pushing the boundaries of flight. As the sun goes down, champions are crowned. The competition may be passionate, but it's the support, fellowship, and relationships that bring flyers back year after year. Radio control, free flight, control line, and soaring. There is something for everyone. I love the competition. So that's a big part of what keeps me going, even when there's lots of other things in my life to distract me. The 2017 Urcha Jamboree is happening this week at the International Air Modeling Center in Muncie, Indiana. More than a thousand RC helicopter pilots will converge for the largest helicopter flying in the world. The Jamboree runs August 2nd through August 6th, and if you're unable to make it, you'll be able to find full coverage in an upcoming issue of Model Aviation Magazine. Plus, FPV Drone Racing Special Interest Group MultiGP will be hosting the MultiGP International Open on August 9th through the 13th bringing pilots from all over the world to compete on eight different tracks spread throughout the IAC. Tickets are still available and can be found at multigp.io. Generations of Flight is all about showcasing model aircraft enthusiasts and their love for the hobby. Each week, one story is selected and featured as the story of the week. This month's winners were Scott, Jim Johns, Tom, Jim Zabel, and Austin. Scott and Austin shared photos of their children with their airplanes. Jim Johns and Tom discussed learning to fly, and Jim Zabel reflected on his start in the hobby. To read these stories and others, visit generationsofflight.com. To share your story, click on Submit a Photo. You can also help preserve the history of model aviation by visiting the National Model Aviation Museum's History Project. You can read biographies, club histories, and company histories, or submit your own. If you are interested in submitting your story or other modeling history, information can be found at modelaircraft.org. Well, while modelers celebrate model aviation all the time, National Model Aviation Day is an opportunity to introduce the hobby to those that may not be as familiar with it. The National Day is set for August 12th, and clubs all over the country are holding events that are open to the public. Now we've been celebrating and we have hundreds of clubs participate and we've raised thousands of dollars for great charities which um, looks great for the hobby, it looks great for AMA clubs because we show that we give back. To find an event near you, visit nationalmodelaviationday.org and click on find an event. AMA celebration of National Model Aviation Day will be held August 5th at our headquarters here in Muncie, Indiana. Coming up after the break, we're taking you to Flight Fest East to see how that event has truly become a family affair. Stick around. Your AMA membership allows you to plug into our community of more than 2,400 clubs. It's your ticket to participate in one of the thousands of events nationwide and it provides you with access to a wealth of informational resources. Through these benefits and many others, your AMA membership helps you enjoy model aviation. Ever since the beginning, the team at Flight Test have emphasized the importance of bringing the joy of the hobby to the whole family. Well, walking around the build tents at their annual Flight Fest event in Malvern, Ohio, shows that they have just the right recipe for making memories that will last a lifetime. Well, you know, it's funny, with Flight Test we talk about educate, entertain, and elevate the world of flight. But honestly, uh, our heart is really to, uh, to use ministry, to use community, and to use fellowship around aviation. And this is the best opportunity to really kind of show it, uh, where families are coming out together, they're building together, uh, they're learning together. 
you know, my father started at a very young age with me, and it, it wasn't, hey, let's go ahead and buy this airplane and fly it. It was back in the uh, Balsa Wood and Monaco days where you spent three weeks building something. And the things that shaped my life the most was actually that time with shoulder to shoulder with my dad when I would be building something with him. And I'd take it out and immediately I'd blow it into a thousand pieces. And he'd say, well, let's pick up those pieces and do it again. And the build aspect is so vital to the RC community. I just saw my dad do it and I was like, that seems pretty cool. So I wanted to try and I was like, dad, can you build a plane for me? And he was like, sure. So that's basically what we've been doing in the summer for the last three years. I used to build um, um, balsa wooden paper models back in the 60s and uh, I was stationed in West Berlin and we had a, a little club there in West Berlin uh, in the, with the army and that was the last I built was back in um, I would say 68. Um, then I got this grandson here, this terrific guy, um, who said, you know, um, I'm interested in doing model airplanes. Uh, I said, well, I used to do model airplanes. And he said, well, you know, you can build uh, planes out of foam and uh, and hot glue, and all you need to buy is the electronics and put the thing together, and for a few dollars, you're flying. So this guy here, uh, it actually brought me back into, uh, into the hobby, uh, I would say uh, two and a half, three years ago. And last year was our first year down here, uh, and it was terrific. So uh, we said, why not come back again? You know, I'll be honest with you, um, I've been in the hobby as long as he has this time around, um, but I'm still on a buddy box with him. Uh, I mean, he, 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 just, he just picked it up and, and, and went with it and it became an expert flyer, but I'm still buddy boxing with him. I think the camaraderie and everyone here in the build tents, they're, they're eager to help each other. Uh, be successful with their planes and I, I think that's super I really do um, and it's it's a great event and uh, that's what keeps having us come back you know? being able to drive out here and even the ride is an experience you know it's seven and a half hours and you know, sometimes it's raining and crazy but you know just the father-son time it's just it's priceless it's great one thing you'll notice is we aren't just telling people, go to our flight test store, buy our kits. We're actually stocking us with free foam and free build materials. We want people to go in and create, but also we want a collaborative effort between the family. We want the father giving his input. We want the mom giving her input. We want the kids listening and building something. So at the end of the day, no matter what it looks like, no matter how it flies like, they created something that defeated the laws of gravity, and they get to hold on to that memory much longer than that plane ever lasts. What better way to spend quality time with the whole family? It's easy to see how Flight Fest has become one of the largest RC events in the world. You're absolutely right, Chris. Coming up, we'll tell you about one modeler who shared the hobby with his grandson. Stick around. The Cloud9 gift shop at the National Model Aviation Museum has a large variety of AMA branded apparel and accessories. From hats to polos, t-shirts, sweatshirts, patches, and lanyards, we have all the gear you need to show your modeling pride at the club field during the 2017 Nats competition. We have trinkets for the modeler who has everything, scale model kits and rubber-powered kits for the youngsters, and gifts for your entire modeling family. Whether you're a seasoned modeler or a newcomer to the hobby, we have the gear you need to show your modeling pride. The Cloud9 Museum store is open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We are able to take orders in person and online for your convenience. Be sure to pick up your 2017 Nats gear on sale now at modelaircraft.org forward slash shop AMA. Many modelers were introduced to the hobby by a family member and many look forward to sharing their passion for model aviation with their children and their grandchildren. This was the case for Nicholas Garrett and his grandfather, David Butler. David used to fly models when he was younger, but didn't get back into the hobby until six years ago. Just a month later, he introduced Nicholas to model aviation and got him hooked. But Nicholas's interest goes beyond models. It started me on a path that I've been able to grow on ever since. In a letter to the Chaffee County Times, Nicholas's mother Barbara also credits the city of Buena Vista, Colorado, the location of the flying club where Nicholas's love for aviation began. 
Barbara wrote that the incredible scenery and the friendly people of the area are what endeared Buena Vista to Nicholas, but it was the time on the airstrip of the flying club with his grandfather that cemented his interest in aerospace. Nicholas has enjoyed building on his knowledge of airplanes and seeing what areas he can experiment with. Through a program at his high school, Nicholas and three of his friends were able to build an autonomous drone, and Nicholas says this has been one of his favorite projects so far. He was able to expand on the basis of his knowledge of aviation and explore computer engineering at the same time. Nicholas plans to attend Ohio Northern University and will major in aeronautical engineering. All of his hard work also earned him an AMA scholarship to help him pursue his interest in aviation. David and the rest of his family are very proud of Nicholas. That's all we have for this episode of AMA Air. If you have a story you think we should have on the show, visit air.modelaircraft.org and tell us about it by sending us an airmail. And if you're not already a member of the AMA, visit modelaircraft.org and sign up today. We'll see you next time, everybody. But for now, it's time to get flying. <laughs>